Welcome to the Goddess Conjurer podcast and show. I'm Christina Margaret, a holistic empowerment and sobriety coach. I'm also a spiritual badass and truth seeker. Join me as I chat with wicked guests who are down to get real with raw, unfiltered conversations inspired to help you level up your spiritual and personal expansion. So settle in, get cozy, get ready, and let's enjoy the ride. Hey guys, welcome to the Goddess Conjurer show and podcast. I am Christina. Uh, Happy New Year. We are settling into January. We had quite the snowfall um, here on Vancouver Island over the Christmas break. I'm still recovering and struggling to get back into a daily routine. And of course, we're being offered everything under the sun um, to start the new year positively and with focus and intention. So I've been thinking about a reel that I did not that long ago. I think actually what was in the summer. Um, And it was with an affirmation that said, I do not, uh, do not chase, I attract. And I love that real. I love affirmations. Um, I think they're very powerful. And so I actually wanted to talk about um, this idea of do not chase what you want. Uh, I think that's a hustle mentality. And though we have the need for like hustle and, you know, creating that fire push energy for things that we need and we need to adapt into our masculine energy to do that there is a dance that can be played between the feminine and the masculine so if you're chasing something it means that it's in front of you if you're chasing something um it will always be in front of you as long as you are chasing it You're never actually with it in the moment. You're not obtaining it. So we treat our future self like it doesn't already exist and it does. And this is some powerful um, stuff to look at when you want to manifest. And it's a, it's a practice, right? It's not perfect. Um, not sitting here recording from a fancy studio. I'm sitting in my meditation spot in my bedroom. But I'm getting to where I want to go. And so there's only the present. And I continue to say this and um, it's because it's true. Um, Yeah, we have goals for the future and we have places that we want to be in that we look forward to. And I do, I have, plans and I look forward to the future and I am working on my next move but I know that those behaviors begin in the present so it means like what I'm doing right now has to reflect what I potentially see my future as and better yet anything I desire or seek or see for myself I must imagine and envision this taking place now So I must feel it now. How do I look? How do I feel? How do I act? Must be taking place in the future moment or in the present moment, not in the future. So everything that I want right now, I have to behave like. So I want, maybe I want this podcast, this show to be successful, whatever successful means to me. That means I show up with that success in my heart, in my energy now. It means that I keep going. It means that I keep doing this if I get one view or I get, you know, 200,000 views. It means that I show up in my present moment as my future self because they both exist together. So... Tapping into the body, into the felt sense during this process is super powerful because if I can envision myself in my future, quote unquote, if I can see how I walk, how I talk, 
how I embody this feeling of my future self. If I can feel my future self within myself, I have a better chance of, of rewiring those neural pathways, first of all, that you know the brain needs in order to believe that this state is possible because the brain doesn't know the difference between the past and the future or the present. It just knows what you're feeling in the moment is what's taking place and is reacting from that state. So this is when we suffer from panic attacks, from PTSD, from all of these things. When we have in these intrusive thoughts or we have um, flashbacks or we have an overwhelm of emotion when we start to think about a traumatic event in our life or something that was unfavorable for us. This also happens in positive situations. So the brain reacts to whatever thoughts are coming in. And this is this physiological um, reaction that the body then gets, right? I suffered immensely um, in panic for years. I suffered immensely um, in the ability to be present because I was so caught up in what if in the past, um, and, you know, future casting, catastrophizing uh, the future. And, and that's how I felt all the time. I felt awful. I felt anxious. I felt desperate. I felt the need to numb. I couldn't escape myself was what the real problem was. It wasn't that I couldn't escape my trauma or my past. It was me that was continuing to bring that into my present moment. So this works for future and positivity as well. We just have to learn how to work on continuing to say what's positive, even though it's not natural for us. It's not natural. We're wired to look for the negative. We're wired to look for how are we going to survive this situation? So let's create an affirmation and then put it into play. I'm very careful with what affirmations I use because I know the power of the word and in particular how I create an affirmation and what I say. So a good example of this is because I've heard um, this affirmations and I've used it in that in the reel I was speaking about. Um, but if I was working on something intentionally, I was manifesting, if I was gonna use it, it would also, it, so the affirmation is, I do not chase, I attract. So the reason why I would not want to use this specifically if I was actually creating an affirmation is because I don't want um, the word chase in my affirmation. I don't even want it to be a part of my reality. Um, I really do not want anything that says do not in there as well. So I could, however, use it in the process of, I am letting go of chasing what I want. And then my affirmation on top of that would be, I am attracting what I desire. So I really like to work with letting go and then affirming. This is usually why I'm doing my manifesting in the new moon, which we just had, um, and or the full moon. So I use this opportunity to always be letting go, making room in a ritual, writing it down, burning that shit, getting primal, right? Like ash to ash, dust to dust, like get rid of it. So I'm letting go of chasing what I want. Write it down, burn it, bury it, tear it up. Do whatever you want. Let it actually go. Feel where it lives in the body. Where does chasing live in the body? Right? Where does that lack live in the body? And if you can identify even a sensation that shows up, maybe you get a bit of a stomach ache. Some piece of you is holding on to this, right? Energetically and then physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So find out, do some digging, spend some time, 
right before I just started to film this, I, I started to think about worthiness started to come up for me. So I just like posted a little clip on my Instagram story about how worthiness is one of the things that continues to show up for me. My lack of feeling worthy, my, you know, limited belief of never being enough. And I know I, when I want to work with this piece of me, where does that live in me? Right. Where does worthiness live in my body or the lack of worthiness live in my body? And what does it need from me? You know, how can I work with this? When we talk about shadow work, we're not, we're not like noticing, oh, I, I lack worthiness. I lack feeling worthy. And then that's it. We, you got to go into it. Where does it live in you? You know, why is it so, why is it so deep in you? This is what we talk about conjuring the shit out of yourself, like conjure that out of you, find it, identify it, embrace it, embody it, create the dance, right? The masculine and feminine, the light, the dark, the yang, the yang, it's all, it's all there and all so much spirituality and so many teachings, but it's more than identifying it. It's creating a dance with it. It's creating a move with it. It's an, it's, it's always going to be there. It's a part of my belief systems, my core beliefs, right? Can't push things away. Oh fuck. Here it comes again. I'm not feeling worthy. I know that's not going to show, that's going to show up for me. Something that I struggle with. So what does someone who doesn't feel worthy need? Need reassurance. Yes, you are. I am enough. This is enough. This podcast, this YouTube channel, this is enough. Me just sitting here without any of this, this is enough. You know, my brain might fight that. My body might fight that. But it's it's just being okay with it. So we write it down. We get rid of it, right? Then I'm making room. I'm not just compiling ideas and beliefs and, and things in there. I'm not going to have room for it. You have to create room, let go, identify. So then I have time. I have the ability to say the space. I am attracting what I desire. I am worthy. I'm enough. I am attracting what I desire. I am attracting abundance. I am attracting prosperity. Like you can, it's everything. It's everything. Everything is so limitless. It's just our belief systems that are limiting. Everything in the universe is limitless. Your potential is limitless. Your belief systems are limiting. So work with those. You know, by making room, that belief, that roadblock, some kind of thing that keeps stopping me. And it takes time, right? These small changes. So you don't just get to say you're letting go for the nest and it never shows up again. It'd be fucking sweet. But you've got to befriend these parts of you, this worthiness. So when it comes to abundance, let's go like this. I'm letting go of living in lack. I am abundant beyond my wildest dreams. Give it a try. Even if you just sat for a moment of peace with yourself, a moment of meditation, you take your hand, you place it on your heart. And take a breath into your body. Notice your belly expand on your inhale and then just release on the exhale. And really just sink into your breath. Notice your hand on your heart. And tapping in just a little deeper to yourself as you sit in this present moment. 
I am letting go of lack. I am worthy and abundant of my most deepest desires. I am worthy and abundant of my most deepest desires. Take the breath in as you embody that feeling. I am worthy and abundant of my most deepest desires. Notice where you feel sensation in the body and just allow yourself to be with that. This already exists in me. This already exists in me. And take yourself into your future by staying in the present. Give it a try. Thank you. I came from the mud.